Keanu Reeves is purportedly Shadow the Hedgehog in the upcoming Psych the Hedgehog 3. It's not hard to see why the filmmakers would want Reeves for the role of the self-proclaimed ultimate life form. His low, husky voice matches Shadow well, and he's one of the most recognisable movie stars in the world. What's perhaps more of a conundrum is why Reeves would want to take on this particular role. This isn't to say that Reeves himself would have a reason not to want to play a cartoon hedgehog with a gun and a PG-13 potty mouth. If anything, this feels like a far better fit for him than previous voice roles such as Duke Kaboom in Toy Story 4. The reason it's difficult to know why Reeves would take the role is because it's difficult to know much of anything about his thought process. Reeves is a fascinating actor in that, on the one hand, there is a plethora of information about his life, his career, his hobbies and interests and side projects. He has talked at length about his fondness for playing hockey, at least until an injury forced him to stop playing. He's also very open about his love of motorcycle riding, and his several near-fatal injuries from going a bit too fast in dangerous situations. He'll also happily talk about playing bass guitar in the band Dogstar, and how this particular instrument called out to him. And he's not above going on Jimmy Kimmel and discussing his love of comic books, his own comic, Berserker, and even doing an impression of a leprechaun with obvious glee. As for what's actually going on inside Keanu Reeves' head, though, that's a harder question to answer. In 2000, in an article with Rolling Stone that was clearly very painful for all involved, an interviewer describes the difficulty of getting Reeves to open up about himself and his thought process. There were, apparently, long pauses whenever Reeves was asked simple questions, followed by short, non-committal answers. Given very little to work with, the interviewer resorted to using quotes from people around Reeves to fill in the gaps. A doorman at the hotel where Reeves was staying described him saying, He's a nice man. A nice man. You don't see him with no ladies. He's a loner. He likes his privacy. Rides a motorcycle. One of Reeves's bandmates, Robert Mailhouse, said of Reeves, I'd never met anyone who loved his bass so much. Actually walked around the house with it. I used to worry about him, because I think of him as one of my best friends in the world. Was he going to crash his motorcycle? This or that? But now I'm just proud of him. He's getting to do it the right way. Charlie's Theron described Matrix-era Keanu by saying, I remember when we did Devil's Advocate. He was living in a hotel. When we started Sweet November, I asked if he was still living in a hotel, and he said, No, I'm ready to put some roots down somewhere. You know, the kid, the horse, the dog, and the wife. The wife laughs. Before, I think he liked the idea of living out of a suitcase. I think he's now learned you can be a free spirit and have the other things as well. Keanu Reeves, then, is a difficult man for anyone, even his co-stars, his friends, and especially magazine interviewers who bother him, to really understand. His public persona paints the picture of a man who's somewhat uncomfortable with the limelight, even as he insists that he's always happy to have fans come up and speak to him. Reeves has been described as the world's most famous third culture kid. Born in Beirut to English and Hawaiian parents, raised in Australia and Canada, and now living in the United States, he is the product of no one country, nor any one part of the world. Of his own history, he said, My grandmother is Chinese and Hawaiian, so I was around Chinese art, furniture and cuisine when I was growing up. I remember that I really liked haikus, I also liked anime and kung fu movies. So, yeah, I was exposed to Asian culture since I was a kid. He has described falling in love with martial arts films, saying, The first one I remember is Five Fingers of Death. I just remember a guy jumping off the floor, coming down and taking this guy's eyes out. And they came out! It was awesome. Reeves first began acting on stage at a young age, and by 15 was eager to move to Hollywood to try his luck as a professional actor. He got a meeting with an agent, who told him that until he had done something big, they couldn't take him on. So he returned to Toronto, where his family was living at the time, and after working a few more years in Canada, eventually got an agent in Hollywood. He said, I got my first car when I was 20, and I drove to Hollywood. Of course, when I got here, they wanted me to change my name. Yeah, they were like, Keanu, that's too ethnic. I was like, okay, well, 
what's my name going to be? And I was like, Templeton? So eventually, I came up with my first and middle initial. So I was KC Reeves. But then I had auditions and they'd be like, KC? And I wouldn't even look up. So eventually I went back to my agents and I was like, I can't change my name. Perhaps this failed attempt to rebrand Keanu Reeves stands as an excellent example of how not everybody can be easily labelled or explained. To see Reeves as an actor, or a bass player, or a comic book writer, or a martial artist, or a biker, or a cartoon hedgehog is to miss the point. In Reeves' own words, the moral of his story is, other people say, if you want to do what you want to do, you have to do this. And the lesson being, you know what? You don't. You don't. So why is Keanu Reeves Shadow the Hedgehog? Because that's what he wants to do. He learned a long time ago that he doesn't need to be anything for anyone, except himself, for himself. That's the moral of this story. Be who you want to be. Even if who you want to be is a motorcycle riding hedgehog with a gun. Who wouldn't want to be a motorcycle riding hedgehog with a gun?